is the Cornerman Radio live with Barzini and Box 9. It's Julius Ndongo versus Adrian Granados. The reason why I thought about this matchup is so easily to be made. They both lost their last two fights. Granados lost to Brona, which a fight I say I thought um, he won. He lost to Sean Porter. I can't believe Sean Porter kind of did the running route against Granados, who's who's a one forty fighter. And I mean, I was really surprised on that. <clears throat> now, Indango got knocked out twice in his last two fights in the second round with Crawford and Regis Fogre. So I feel like this fight should be made because right now these two guys, I don't think Indango should be in with none of the top 10 140 fighters. He's going to get his ass whooped. Now, Lou DeBella just signed him for how much money? I don't know. Probably a lot. And there's nothing you can do with him. After just getting knocked out in two rounds, like in the last two fights, there's nothing really you can do with him. So you might as well put him against Granados. If he can't, if he can't even look good against Granados, Luther Bell just had a waste investment. And I know Granados is going to smoke um, Julius Ndango. This is, this is a no-brainer. If anybody picks Ndango to beat Granados, is on every drug and every liquor and every... This person's on dirt, like mud, like... I don't know, the person's sick in the brain to think Ndongo is going to be Granados. I'm sorry. This man is... I really like Ndongo, but, man, what I've been seeing... Whoa. Well, what's your take on this shit? Uh, I don't really like the fight, to be honest with you. I mean, i probably match up Ndongo with Bartholomew. I think that's more competitive, but because Granados is gonna try to dog him, you know. I I mean, and Dago's he still got a little pop if he catches Granados, but it's a good fight for Granados for sure. It's definitely a good fight for Granados um, to get back. I mean, if you get, I'm pretty sure. The thing is this. Is, that fight will never be on TV. That's going to be off. And Dago's coming off of two bad losses. He ain't about to be on TV anymore. Um, you know, I just, I don't know. You know. I don't know. Some of these guys that are losing like that, it's hard to do these or whatever. Maybe on the undercard or something. It's not bad. Probably be out of sight, out of mind type of fight, but for Granados, fuck it. If he can get Ndongo on his resume, get a win like that on the comeback trail, you know, um, get back in the ranking somehow at 140, it's a good fight for him. Um, if he doesn't fucking stop out Ndongo like Progray did and like Crawford did, then that won't look good. If he goes the distance with Ndongo, and I don't know if he'll get any phone calls. I think he'd have to do I think his main goal, if he fights in Dongo, his team, his management, we got to stop this dude. We got to look impressive. We got to follow suit, like with Crawford and then uh, Regis Progray. But um, that's all I got on that fight. I mean, I, I personally would rather see in Dongo versus Francis Bartholomew. I don't think that would be a great fight on paper. You know, it's a little more interesting. But that's that's pretty 